Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Roshni Dhal. Let's look at today's top headlines. An MC seeks report on suicides by medicos directs institutes to submit data. Taking cognizance of the incidences of suicide and resignation of medical students, the National Medical Commission has directed the medical colleges in the country to submit statistics regarding the number of students who committed suicide and left colleges during the last five years within 7 October 2022. Apart from this, the Apex Medical Commission has also sought to know from the colleges about the details regarding the working hours and weekly off given to the students. Further writing to the deans, principals, directors of the medical institutes, an MC informed about a dedicated email ID using which medical students can directly lodge ragging complaints with the commission. NBE releases indicative seat matrix for DNB post diploma admissions 2022. The National Board of Examinations has released the indicative seat matrix for admission to the DNB post diploma courses 2022 admission session. According to the seat matrix, a total of 1,988 seats are available for candidates. The maximum seats are in the specialty of anesthesiology with 491 seats, followed by pediatrics with 320 and obstetrics and gynecology with 259 seats. Doctors must display registration number on lab reports, prescriptions, certificates, said an MC. While replying to a right to information application, the National Medical Commission has recently stated that it is mandatory for the doctors to display the registration number in the prescriptions, lab reports, certificates and money receipts given to the patients. An MC has confirmed the rules in this regard while referring to the Indian Medical Council Regulations 2002. Major boost to PG Medical Education in Tamil Nadu as an MC nod for 88 PG and 14 SS seats. In a major boost to PG Medical Education in Tamil Nadu, the NMC has given its permission for 88 PG Medical Degree seats and 14 Super Specialty seats to the state. Among this, Tamil Nadu has received nod from the Epix Medical Commission for 85 seats in MD Emergency Medicine in 22 Government Medical Colleges. Apart from this, the state also received an MC nod for three seats in MD Radio Diagnosis course. Researchers find how babies respond to taste, smell in the womb. Investigators perform 4D ultrasound scans on 100 pregnant women to see how their unborn babies reacted to flavors from the foods their mothers ate. The researchers scanned some mothers to see how their fetal faces responded to the kale and carrot flavors. A study led by Durham University Fetal and Neonatal Research Lab in UK took 4D ultrasound scans of 100 pregnant women to see how their unborn babies responded after being exposed to flavors from foods eaten by their mothers. Researchers looked at how the fetuses reacted to either carrot or kale flavors just a short time after the flavors had been ingested by the mothers. Fetuses exposed to carrot showed more laughter face responses, while those exposed to kale showed more cry face responses. Kerala High Court directs Health Ministry to reply on unaffordability of patented cancer drug ribocilib. Kerala High Court directs Health Ministry Department of Pharmaceuticals to reply on unaffordability of patented cancer drug ribocilib. The Kerala High Court has directed the Department of Pharmaceuticals and a competent officer of Union Health Ministry to file their reply on the issue of unaffordability of a life-saving patented breast cancer drug ribocyclib within one month. The case concerned a petitioner diagnosed with HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer who was undergoing targeted therapy treatment. The monthly cost of the medicines for treatment worked out to rupees. 63,480. However, the petitioner was receiving a monthly pension of Rs 28,000 only and eventually succumbed to her illness. The most pricey medicine in the treatment, ribociclib, alone costed Rs 58,140 per month. Ribociclib is presently not manufactured in India and enjoys patent monopoly and their manufacturers are hence prevented from producing the medicine without the consent of the patent holder. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.